What is up YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be talking about this new cool thing, ChatGPT, and how we can make a website with this. So in this video, we're gonna be trying to create two websites. One of them will be an online shop for selling socks. And the second one will be just a basic blog page that will talk about artificial intelligence and ChatGPT itself. So in a sense, we'll make the AI write about AI and create a basic a website where we will be able to have maybe like a basic checkout and we'll try to cover all of this without going in depth of coding so this video will probably be good for people who cannot code either and for those that are already familiar with basics of html css and javascript so let's get started so uh, to get started we'll have to go to the uh, chat gpt website and we'll start with the basic prompt for this so I'm thinking about uh, create a website. Let's specify that it will be an online shop for selling socks. And let's specify that we actually need HTML and CSS. So basically, we want some basic styling too. Uh, so HTML plus CSS. For each product, Let's give the an extra prompt details. For each product, we would like some details. So let's see what it will do for us. So as you can see that the ChatGPT already started writing some code, so it's blazingly fast. And uh, from the small preview as it types, we can see that it will create a separate CSS file that will have our styles. So I'm guessing there'll be like a second code block with this that we'll just be able to copy CSS. And so let's see. So it says, welcome to the sock shop. And uh, it has the uh, sock section that has some divs. And I believe that all of the divs will be different images. So it understood that it needs to separate some socks by their type. So I already see that they have some bull socks, strip socks, and it has some descriptions. It also has some options for this and the button which with the call to action, which is add to cart. And so it created two socks for us. And oh, here in the bottom, it's writing the CSS for us. Oh, it also gave us this little preview and uh, some explanation on how we can use it. So let's copy this code and I already set up a basic playground on the website called sandbox.io. So basically you can use this website or any HTML file that you have and just insert it there. So I'll just start with the code sandbox. I already started this new empty project which is the index.html hello world inside. So let's paste our code from ChatGPT. And so it already tells us that it doesn't have, we don't have the style.css file. Um, <clears throat> so what we can do, because we already have the SRC, maybe put it to SRC style. Uh, so for to make it more basic in this example, so SRC style. Let's see if Code Sandbox will be able to take this. Yep. And now it says that it cannot find the image. And uh, so for images, what we can do is just uh, insert some other images uh, from some URLs. But we, let's make the chat GPT do this for us. So let's tell, can you give me some URLs for those socks? images that I can actually insert to the website. Okay, so he <laughs> gave us the uh, example.com domain URLs. Uh, So it basically just gave us the details if we don't know how to code, how we can replace those images. 
but um, can you give me some place holder euro? Okay, so that should work. Let's just copy this one. I think it'll be just the empty image. So let's replace our images for the socks. So we'll have actually something visual on our website. And here it is. We have our basic HTML here. And let's not forget about our styles that um, it gave us. So let's copy the code from here. And let's go to the styles.css and insert this and let's see what it gave us. Okay, so that is quite interesting. This is the layout that it shows for some reason. So let's open this website in the, okay, I think it's still, okay, let's save this. And let's reload. And let's go follow this URL once again. So here's the full website on the full screen and what we can see that the design of this is kind of weird to be honest because um, let's say we want to change the design so let's ask chat gpt to update the design can you update the design to make it a grid so let's say we want something that is more like a grid um, so something like a product plates and let's see if it'll be able to do this for us so what it does it says sure here's the updated version uh, in the grid layout so it should be as easy as just copying the code to our style.css and just replacing it and we'll see what it will do for us this time Okay, so it's it is great, but let's let's specify that we want to this in one line. I'm not sure what got updated, but um, it already looks much nicer. So let's go to this website again. I don't think it understood our goal of making them in one row, but as you can see, it still generated the products. And uh, let's see if we can add more products and then maybe me as a developer can just fix this in one line of code or ChatGPT will be able to fix this in our next iteration. So let's say we would like to have more products. So let's say to add two more products to our HTML. Update this, refresh the page, and boom, we have two more. And what I would also like to do is maybe let's, before I'll go into styling and try to fix the layout. And since the blocks are 100, 300 pixels, the preview here will look bad, but if you actually go to the website, it should, it should be here, yeah. Okay, so let's um, add some basic things to it, like a car. So for example, now we have the add to card action, but let's say we would actually want to have the physical card. Uh, so let's say, on the card, can you add the card? The card, card, shop card, shop card. I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, can you add a shopping cart to our website? And uh, I believe that it'll analyze the previous HTML that we gave it and uh, probably it'll create some uh, action for when we click on add to cart to call the function. 
Okay, so it gave us the shopping cart object with some um, classes or methods, sorry, that'll be able to remove the items, add items, and things like this. So, and as I mentioned, it understood that on our website there is a button called an item or add to cart, and uh, this is how it'll modify the HTML elements for us, which is pretty impressive. So it gave us this example of how we can update the buttons, and with this function to work. So let's uh, check if it actually works. And so let's copy this button now for our um, website. So we now have four buttons. So let's say, uh, let's start with the first one. So here we have uh, stripe socks, price, and uh, let's say I'm too lazy, and I would like to ask ChatGPT for the buttons. Can you give me all of the buttons with uh, add to cart just function for every product? And let's see if it works. Um, yeah, how do we do this? I think uh, the only way to check if it worked is that if we actually buy the actual showing of the card. So let's try doing this as well. Can you show the card on our website? So. Oops, let me go back. So we have our shopping cart, we have like get total. So I think we can just basically write our own function that'll be calling the get total, but let's see if it does this. Can you show the cart on the website by calling the get total? Let's save this and let's go to the website and check how it's doing. Let's see this time. So add to card, add to card, add to card. So now you can see that it actually counts the total for us, and it can probably show the list of the items if we ask it to modify it. So let's modify this function without writing the code ourselves, since we already did some of that. So let's ask it to do this for us. So let's say, hey, uh, update, can you? Also show the list. Can you show the names for products next to the total price? Let's see if we can do that. Update the total go here and now we're still gonna run into the problem when we'll be clicking or no here we have it we now have a functional website with the card where you can add multiple items to it and it will actually count the total for us part that will be a bit shorter which is basically creating a blog page with artificial intelligence so to get started with this, we'll just create a new chat and we'll clean up the code for the website and we'll start from there. So the prompt for this will be, can you, or we'll not ask if I can, we'll just make it plain play, create a website uh, page, create a website that will be talking about benefits and downsides of the AI. We want HTML plus CSS. can always update the color to your own preference and let's say we would like to modify this website a bit more and let's say we wanted the matrix rain as the background or as a separate block for this website and let's ask it to create this for us. And 
here we have it. This time he gave us the code in three chunks. So let's uh, start copying this. So let's. Uh, so this is the website that we have right now. Let's update it so we can compare the before and after. So let's start updating this. Yeah, let's put the last chunk and save the page. Okay, so this time it took some more time to generate the new website since it gave us so much chunks. So let's just try to copy them and let's make sure that we don't mess any of our code. And let's see if it did the trick. Okay, it's actually funny because it now has all of the characters letters but it still it gave us four inputs now so it's pretty cool for the website that is created with just artificial intelligence it's actually not that bad and this is just the beginning of where it is so with that said this is it for today and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up and thanks for watching